The song, We Shall Not Be Moved, has been described by sociologist and musician David Spencer as an expression of resolve in the face of adversity. Amy excerpted the following from Spencer's book entitled, We Shall Not Be Moved, No Nos Moveran, Biography of a Song of Struggle published by Temple University Press in 2016. Shortly, we will see the significance of No Nos Moveran, the Spanish title of the song. The exact origins are unknown, but it appears to have begun as a religious revival song sung by rural whites and African slaves in the South in the early 19th century. A century later, it was taken up by U.S. labor activists in their successful drive to unionize major industries. Subsequently, African Americans reclaimed it for the civil rights movement, where it became one of the best known songs in that freedom struggle. Shortly after that, in Spanish, it became an emblematic song in the struggle for farm worker rights in the United States before it crossed the Atlantic to be used in the fight against the fascist dictatorship in Spain. From Spain, the song traveled back across the ocean to arrive in Chile at the end of the 1960s. In all these times and places, people sang this song to express their resolve in the face of adversity and to help them persevere in their struggles to build a better world. We shall not be moved and many other songs like it, has served as a powerful form of ritual action that enables social movement participants to accomplish a number of things that are crucial to a movement's success and survival. The first of these is that it has helped them forge their identities as protagonists of their own history in a variety of national contexts. A second is that whenever it has been sung, it has helped movement participants forge solidarity and cohesion among themselves. In addition, We Shall Not Be Moved has in numerous contexts helped members of movements keep up their spirits and keep fear at bay in the face of adversity. It has also contributed to preserv preserving the collective memory of movements many years after they have dissipated from the public view. And finally, its singing has facilitated the raising of otherwise mundane movements in the history of movements to sacred or quasi-sacred levels. In today's world of instantaneous electronic communication via social media, there would be nothing especially remarkable about the spread of a song to any part of the world where it could be put to practically any use. The travels and transformations of this song, however, were quite astonishing. Given that they took place long before the advent of such media and without being promoted by major commercial record companies or broadcast media. Rather, the song spread through its singing by members of social movements, often in the face of brutal state and corporate repression who took it to other movements across multiple national and linguistic boundaries. The story of We Shall Not Be Moved and then No Nos Moveran is worth telling not only because of the song's importance to struggles for social justice around the world, but also because of the way it illustrates how songs can serve as an invaluable resource to participants in movements for social change. And I'd add, in the, in the U.S., uh, the song was recorded and sung by many famous singers. Uh, two of the best known who helped make the song well known were Joan Baez and Pete Seeger. And I was reminded of Pete uh, in, in reading a book I'm reading now. In the spring of 1965, when Martin Luther King led his march from Selma to Montgomery, Pete was among the famous entertainers, including Harry Belafonte, uh, Tony Bennett, um, 
yeah, Sammy Davis Jr., Noah, Nina Simone, and, and others who helped entertain the singers. And I can imagine them grouped together, being led by Pete and singing, We Shall Not Be Moved. So enough talking. This is a musical celebration. After all, we will join these voices across space, space and time as we sing, We Shall Not Be Moved, and add our own verse as an anthem for unity. Thank you. Director of Choir and Company, we are here at the Unitarian Universalist Church of the Lehigh Valley. And here is your choir. We're going to sing the timeless anthem, We Shall Not Be Moved. Here we go. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.